He is not a Kung Fu master, but he has taught many Kung Fu masters on the silver screen. He is not Bruce Lee, but he is another Chinese man with an idol-like status in Hollywood. He is Tiger Chen, the man of Tai Chi. From even that young of an age, he already wished that someday he could also be a kung fu master like Bruce Lee and fight just as expertly. His parents understood this desire and sent him to a local kung fu teacher, and so began his journey to kung fu stardom. When I was eight years old, I saw a few Bruce Lee films and also Jet Li's Shaolin Temple. I started studying kung fu and did so for many years. But I gradually grew bored with this type of study. I began to study with a local master of the art, and I suddenly became aware that real wushu was immensely different from what I had learned in school. Traditional wushu is broad and deep, and at that point, I became completely sure that this was the wushu I was interested in. It didn't take long for Tiger to rediscover his passion for kung fu. A new and wild idea came to him to go to the USA and become a real kung fu master in Hollywood movies. I arrived in the United States and quickly discovered that the situation there was far from what I imagined it to be. At the start, I was at a Lee Martial Arts Center doing shadow boxing. But because it was open hand karate school, they didn't teach you how to use Chinese weapons and were only able to offer Tai Chi. Your income had to be split with the boss, so it was hard to make a living. Every day I didn't have class, I would wake up at 5 a.m. to work as a porter, and then I would go to a restaurant and wash dishes. After he arrived, Tiger managed to stay strong in the face of all the difficulties he met with, and he waited for the right opportunity. Finally, it came along. The director of The Matrix, Yuan Wu Ping, wanted to find a young assistant to teach Keanu Reeves some new moves. As luck would have it, Tiger met all the teaching requirements. At that time, we were preparing to film for The Matrix, and Yuan Wu Ping was the director of Wushu. He wanted to find a young person from the U.S. who was able to speak English, had good kung fu, and wanted to experience teaching kung fu in the U.S. I had fit with all the prerequisites and happened to have a friend in the cast who recommended me, and that opportunity landed me in Hollywood. The Matrix was the highest grossing science fiction movie of 1999. Its action shots were so successful, one of Keanu's moves in the movie has become a Hollywood classic. More and more film masters realized that a Chinese Kung Fu master was the man behind the action. This quickly created a buzz around Tiger, which translated into many more golden opportunities. To date, he has been an action director for Kill Bill and Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, among many others. The majority of Hollywood's kung fu movies only have elements of kung fu. Kung fu is only a part of it. It's not a pure kung fu movie. I've been doing kung fu movies for this many years, so I would say I'm pretty good in this area. I've always wanted to make a pure kung fu movie. What I could see for me was just that he had charisma, he had an energy that jumped off the screen to me. You know, he was just like, who's that guy? What's that guy doing? You know, and, um, and that gave me a lot of confidence in terms of wanting to work with him. We thought that was a great idea for a modern day kung fu movie. Man of Tai Chi was made for Tiger. The role basically personifies him. He and the main character have the same cultural background, the same personality, and the same kung fu experience. This character is also not a representation of my life, but I've been a participant since we started writing the script. Keanu thought that he wanted it to be closer to my actual life, so lots of the details come from my real-life scenario. To make a kung fu movie, take these details, make sure it's all in line with Chinese customs, and there you go. In order to make their film a real hit in Hollywood, 
Chen and Keanu wanted everything to be done perfectly as possible. Yeah, and it wasn't easy. You know, we shot over 100 days. You know, he's got over 12 fights in the movie. You know, we sh he, he, yeah, he fought for over 40 days in the movie, 12 hours a day. <laughs> you know, and uh, he, he was there, you know. And then he told the story of this loss of innocence, you know, and I believed him. And as Tiger said, Chinese kung fu movies are not just about actions. They are a bridge to introducing the profundities and complexities of Chinese culture to the world. For his part in the dissemination of his own culture, we owe Tiger Chen and his friends great praise and many thanks. You're